It's all come down to the final weekend. Round six of the European Rugby Champions Cup this Sunday afternoon, the Ospreys travel to Sandy Park to face Exeter Chiefs. Join us now to look ahead to the game with Josh Martavesi and James King. James, five rounds of the Champions Cup gone. We're top of the pool and heading to Exeter on the weekend with our future in our own control. That's all we could have asked for when we kicked off last November. Yeah, like you said, we're in the, the best scenario we could be in, really. We're in sort of a nice position as well that all the games would have kicked off before ours. So, so going into that game, we know exactly what we need to get out of that game. It was a tough evening at the Liberty last weekend against Clermont, but we ended up getting the result and even denying them the bonus point. It couldn't have gone better. Yeah, you know, when, when we went out there, we managed to pick up two losing bonus points, which have turned out to be vital in this pool. And, you know, to, to beat again another French team at home and keep that record has, has put us in a really good position going, going into this weekend's game. Exeter on Sunday, though. It was a big ask, you know, they're flying high in the Premiership in England and they don't lose at home very often, so we can't take anything for granted. Yeah, you know, we know that there is going to be a huge challenge to go down there and, and try and win the game. Um, like you said, Exeter haven't, won, haven't lost there this season, so, you know, we, we know what we, we've got to go against this weekend and we're looking forward to the challenge. What's the mood in the camp looking ahead to the game? Yeah, positive. You know, the sun's out, we don't, we don't get that often in Wales, so uh, it's nice to train the sun, to be honest. On yourself, you've been under Exeter in the LV Cup. Um, a bit different than what this is going to be, but it's still a taste of the atmosphere and the type of mood you can expect when you go to Sandy Park. Yeah, a couple of my first games were in the LV Cup down in down in Sandy Park. So, um, you know, like I said, I know the atmosphere is down there, but uh, you know, I think it could be slightly different this weekend. Our fingers crossed, we can go out there, do the job, and make a little bit of history for the Ospreys. Yeah, you know, we, we haven't reached the quarterfinals for, for quite some time now, so. Um, you know, we've we put ourselves in the best position we could going into this game and it's just about performing on the day now. Season members can enjoy double scotch with half price off additional tickets purchased for the games against current Pro 12 champions Glasgow Warriors on Sunday the 31st of January and Edinburgh on the 19th of February. Book your tickets now to take advantage of this fantastic offer. Why not enjoy the Glasgow game with the best view in the house? Hospitality boxes are still available and from just £69 per person plus VAT, it's the best way to enjoy any Ospreys match. You also have a player appearance in the box pre-match to get their insight into the game ahead. To book, email hospitality at ospreysrugby.com or call our hospitality team on 01792 616 488. Josh, another big evening at the Liberty Stadium last weekend and a hard fought win against Clermont Duverne. A few days on, have you had a chance to look back at that and do the analysis of the game and what, what are the thoughts? You know, obviously pleasing you know, to get the victory after you know, coming, coming from behind. Um, but now boys dug deep and it was a proper team effort. And look at that second half, you know, Sam was kicking the points, the forwards were putting us in good positions, yeah. the crowd were getting behind the team, it was a memorable evening all round. Yeah, it felt like a you know, proper, proper rugby Friday night at the Liberty. Um, you know, it was good to just you know get stuck in stuck into Clermont and um, you know show them their respect. You know, I think teams you know fall into the trap of uh, you know seeing the team sheet and see the names that are on there and uh, giving them a bit too much respect. I think that's one of the things that's been noticeable. It's been about the team spirit and the attitude and the culture of the place, which has really made a difference in this European campaign. Yeah, you know, we try to build you know a, a real strong foundation on you know what 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 our team's about and you know what what we represent. So um, you know, I think it, you know the true colours came out on uh, Friday night, and hopefully we can back it up again on Sunday. Don't Sunday, 
the performances so far have put us in a position that would have been the ideal scenario going to Sandy Park this weekend knowing a win will take us through to the quarterfinals it's a big ask though it's a team we don't lose very often at home yeah no obviously you know, playing the you get you know you get the idea of what they're about as well you know they're a very strong side built on sort of the same foundations that we are so you know it's going to be a dog fight down there but um, you know hopefully we can go down with a good game plan and uh, you know, dismantle them they have an outside chance of qualification themselves but regardless of that you wouldn't expect them to be anything less than 100 percent committed and given everything because they're proud of what they are and what they represent at home. Yeah, you know, it's the same as the Ospreys at home, you know, you don't give anyone an easy game. So, um, you know, we're fully expecting a, a tough battle on Friday night and, uh, you know, we wouldn't expect anything less and uh, you know, really looking forward to the challenge. It's a place you know very well, a club you know very well. You had three seasons there, lots of friends still in the team there. So it's going to be a bit strange for you going there, going to the away changing room and doing your bit for the Ospreys. Yeah, I've been there with West End. I don't have a good memory about that, obviously, but... Um, no, I enjoy going back there. I've got a lot of family there. I've got a lot of friends still there in the team. So um, for me, you know, it's just making sure I get my job done on on Sunday and then you know enjoy my friends after because uh, I think you can get caught up too much in who's playing. You know, if they're your friends, so you know, hopefully just go out there and play and then enjoy it after. It's the kind of occasion that you want to be involved in top flight rugby as a professional sportsman. These big occasions with a big prize up for grabs. You know, that's why that's why we sign. You know, that's why boys play here. That's why boys sign here. You know, the chance to play against you know Europe's best so you know extra real good side at home hopefully we you know go there over there and top them over That's all for now. Don't forget the Ospreys have home games coming up against Glasgow and Edinburgh. Tickets for both of those are on sale now at the usual outlets. Make sure you get yours and support the cause. <laughs>